Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how to use a um, ITO1 to isolate problem between the backlight lamp or inverters. This is a 12 inch a um, vessel view display, which is made by Adam Brary. Uh, 1200M means monitor. They also have another model called 1200P, stand for standalone PC with a display. But anyway, uh, this 12.1 touch screen has a problem the sim and the, the symptom the symptom is that when you turn on the mount display and the power comes on but uh, there's no backlighting if you look really carefully or maybe shine some light source to on, on, on the side of the screen you can see all the icon and contents are still on the screen so we know yeah, the problem is no backlighting what causing this could be either one so this is a touch screen, you know, it's been using for PLC industry. So uh, usually that we see for this type of the display is the backlight lamp's bad. Most of the time. Or sometimes it'll be the inverter. But anyway, let's try it. Because this one has a lot of screw around. I already removed some screw. So I just want to show you. I mean, you know, uh, first you remove this cover. Set it aside. Okay, I took there's a lot of screw around and then you I some of them again I only remove it just save time for the, this video and then uh, you know here here and uh, we have to remove this one uh, there's few screws I will remove it take it out boom there we go this is the inverter inverter is located here uh, you can use any of our equipment like you know ITO1 or AOSTO1 or AOSTO2 or ITO2 to test the inverter or test the backlight lamp. The reason I want to show you this ITO1 is this is the least time setup time. It's quite easy. You don't uh, quite, for example, AOSTO2 requires a little bit more setup time. So this one uh, is quite easy. You just connect to the inverter and you fire up this, uh, 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 fire the power. Uh, if the light lights up in ITO1, then you know the problems with backlight lamp. Okay, if the light is not light up in this ITO one, then you know the problem is inverter. It's quite easy. We use as ITO one as a low as a new lamp to try to uh, fire up the inverters. Let's see what happens. So when you purchase ITO one, it also comes with a few accessories. This time we're gonna use a because the time connector is a little bit different. Okay, we're gonna use a one of the wire adapter MS one nine five. So. You can connect to e any of the six lamps. The one end here, okay, and here, okay. All right. So we're gonna connect to the inverter. And we're gonna connect to. Okay, we got to this this way. Okay. okay. <coughs> now, let's apply the powers. Oh, this way. Let's feel off. Okay. All right. Now we're going to apply the power. Again, when we power up, if the inverter is good, you see the light. See that? Right again. Okay. Try again. See that? You see the light? So that means that this inverter is working fine. Uh, let me shut off here. Uh, yeah, because there's no signal applied to it. So. so which means that this inverter is working fine. This inverter is working fine. The problem is the backlight lamp on the screen. So just go ahead and replace the backlight lamp, it should solve the problems. That's it. So you know how easy is it is by using the ITO1 uh, uh, to, to uh, isolate the problem between the inverter or backlight lamp on this multi-lamp inverters. So it's quite easy, no setup time, no powers. That's it. Thank you for watching.